now students we are going to see the properties all three hybrids are equivalent in shape and size the predicted relative overlapping power of each hybrids is 1.99 this is the overlapping power the three sp2 hybrids have their maximum overlapping along one of three axes all these axes are lying in a plane of p orbital being used in the formation of sp2 hybridization these are the very important properties students if hybrid orbitals rotate by 120 degree would be exactly superimposed that means they will form bond angle is 120 degree now students we are going to see the examples the first example students we have taken here boron trichloride that is bcl3 now in boron trichloride boron will be the central metal atom and chlorine is what it is at the around the boron boron atomic number is 5 the its electronic configuration will be will be 1s2 2s2 2p1 now students when you see the ground state electronic configuration of boron 5 that is boron atomic number with 5 it will be 1s2 2s2 and 2p1 understanding students this is the block diagram that means here 2s2 and 2p orbital will participate in the bonding understanding these are the non bonding orbitals understanding students that will be as it is now what happens students when three chloride atomic orbitals are approaches towards the boron there will be the excitation of the electrons will take the, the electrons from 2s will excite and it will go to the p orbitals like this so excited excited electronic configuration of boron will be 1s2 that will be as it is here it will change the 2s2 will becomes 2s1 and 2p1 will becomes 2p2 that one electrons will migrate and it will go to the 2p y understanding students now what happens students they will mix they will go to the hybridization that is sp2 hybridizations and they will form three hybrid orbitals understanding that is called as sp2 three sp2 hybrid orbitals carry one one unpaired electrons in each understanding students now what happens students when you see the three dimensional diagram students it will be like this s orbital of this is the s orbital of boron and this is the px orbitals of boron and this is what py orbitals of boron understanding students all these s p p orbitals will hybridize and they will form three sp2 hybrid orbitals 1 2 3 so these are the three sp2 hybrid orbitals of boron understanding students these three sp2 hybrid orbitals of boron students they will participate will participate in the bonding with chlorine atomic number is 17 the electronic configuration of chlorine is students 1s2 2s2 2p 6 3s2 and 3p 5 because there is a one unpaired electrons pz that is 3pz is carrying one unpaired electron this pz orbital will participate three chlorine atom three chlorine atom approaches toward the three sp2 hybrid orbitals of boron and they will form the bond three sigma bond like this students now this is the boron at the center and these three chlorine is approaching and it will form the bond that is three sigma bond understanding students so and it will form when you see the bond angle between chlorine boron and chlorine it is always 120 degree understanding students so there will be three boron chloride bond that is the sigma bond and there is a chlorine boron chlorine bond angle is 120 degree and when you see the shape students what is the shape it looks like a triangle so it is a triangular in shape these are very important students for the examination point of view if it will come in examination you will get the full marks this much information is enough for the examination so if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you